Hi there all my DIYers, it's Hannah, and today I'm going to show you how to upcycle one of those ugly plastic pots into something that you're really going to love to display and show all your friends. So there's just a few things that we need to do this project, and the first thing is that ugly pot. Um, this is just that plastic pot that we normally recycle or throw away um, when we get the plants from Lowe's or Home Depot. Uh, this is a two gallon, you can get any size you want for this project but mine is a two gallon hydrangea came in. I've already taken the plant out and washed it out just to keep this project a little cleaner. Um, the next thing you need is rope. And this I got at Lowe's. Um, it's 122 pounds. It's, uh, that's the thickness of the rope. It's 50 feet long and it's a natural sisal rope, natural color. You can use any color you want. I really recommend the sisal um, or natural rope, but that's up to you. Uh, the next thing you need is some glue sticks and a glue gun and then the last thing is going to be paint and this is just leftover house paint um, interior latex uh, that I've used in one of the rooms of my home this is optional and you can pretty much use any type of paint that you want so that's it let's get started okay so today's project is fairly easy um, you're going to start with your pot and take your rope and you're basically just winding the rope around the pot and hot gluing as you go. Not that difficult. There are a couple of tricks for the top and the bottom and you do want to make sure that the hot glue sticks before you continue to move on. Give it time to dry so that these don't start sliding down the pots. And you can also do this by the way with like a terracotta pot or any pot that you just don't like the look of and you just want to update it. I just like these because they're free and it keeps something out of the landfill. So. Here we go. Um, at the bottom, the trick I have is that your first loop, you're actually going to take the end and layer it on top instead of it going on the bottom like this. Does that make sense? So I'm gonna try and hold this up for you to show you. When you go around the pot for the first time and you come to where the ends would meet, the next layer put that below it and then wind up and over so it creates like a crisscross and that tends to look a little bit better um, and then you're just going to keep layering and winding uh, and you're going to see this um, as I do it with the hot glue gun next so I'll show you one more time here we go hot glue gun go ahead and put some on the rope and use a fair amount. Don't be afraid to use this glue. I'm not gluing the very, very end. I am just gluing close. Okay. And this is even with the bottom. I'm not doing anything on the bottom itself. I'm going to leave that for the drainage hole. Um, and since it's on the ground, it helps create a nice flat surface. So just keep on going. So, see how I have taken this and put it underneath so this piece is kind of up above and then just woven it above and then I'm going to start gluing around like this. So that's how you do that first crisscross. And you're just going to keep winding it all the way around the pot until you get to the top and then I'll show you how to do that. Okay. So if you messed up on your calculations on how much rope you needed like I did, and you end up with a little bit more pot than your rope is gonna cover, like so, just a little, you could leave it, but to make it a nice, clean, modern finish, um, what I'm gonna do is I just have a little bit of rope that's left to glue, take some scissors, and I'm just gonna cut it down to size. Honestly, that's the quickest and simplest way to fix this problem. No big deal, it's a throwaway pot anyway. Okay, easy. So, now we're gonna finish it. Okay, so at the very, very end, when you have just a little bit more than your um, edge will allow you 
uh, to put underneath the edge of the pot. What you're going to want to do is take your scissors and you need sharp scissors and just cut this at an upward angle so that the top is a little bit longer than the bottom. A little bit of a mess. And you're just going to glue down that end to give it a nice, clean, finished looking end. My glue stick's running a little bit low. But there we go. Perfect. And that is a beautiful finished pot. Isn't that gorgeous? All right. Super, super, super simple. Free, love, free. Um, and you could leave it just like this, but there is one more step that if you want to do, it kind of helps modernize it a little bit. And this is, um, take it or leave it, whatever you want to do. Okay, so it's time for the last step, and that is to add paint. And this is completely optional, but um, I think it adds like a nice, clean, modern touch. And you can kind of do this any way you want. I'm going to add a band of green paint that goes up just between a quarter and a third of the way all the way around. Um, just a nice clean bottom and it kind of just helps break this up and not look quite so rustic um, but have a little bit more of a modern flair. Uh, now you can go ahead and mark how far up you want all the way around. Your rope is a fairly good guide but at some point it goes up as it goes around um, so you don't want to just try and follow that line exactly. But I uh, just go ahead and paint whatever you want and I'll show you what the finished product looks like. Okay, so this is what it looks like when it's all finished. Just the bottom is painted, and it looks really great. I'm going to put my large palm tree and add it to my collection of other pots and flowers, and I really can't wait. It looks awesome. It's so pretty. I can't wait for you guys to try this at home. And don't forget to check out more of my videos on homemademodern.com.